TIFR, okay, CSR net. Every 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 exam has a question on OPEM, and every year it comes. There is no issue in that. So every year the OPEM question comes. So today we will solve the some good questions of OPEM, so that you get a very clear cut idea that how to do the OPEM questions. So first question we have is. You have applied two voltages, okay. One is 30 volt, and second is 25 volt, okay. And these voltages are applied. One is at negative terminal or inverting terminal, and second is at non-inverting terminal. So this is minus, this is plus. Yesterday, one student asked that why they are not showing biasing, so that it means it the op amp is not working. So in problems, biasing is usually not sh not shown until unless it has some relevance to the question. So it is self understood that our op amp is biased because it is working. So the very first principle we should remember in solving any question is that voltage at this point and voltage at this point is same because the op amp has infinite resistance. No current should flow through this. So it means. That these two points must have the same voltage. So let's call them A and B, and let's write here V equals to VB. V A equals to VB. The two currents are coming. So let's say I one or I A I B. We can say, and they are reaching till here. Okay. So I A reach till here, and what happens next? No current will go in this direction. All the current will move here because current cannot flow inside the op amp in internal op. Amp. So this is also I A. So for just simplification, we are using different words. So I F is equals to I A to clearly show you. And I B reach here. So again, you know that I B cannot go in this direction. So I B will also go in this direction. So let's say this is I R. So I R equals to I B. So these are the three conditions which we get from the concept of virtual ground or the concept that no current can flow inside it. So now what has been asked to us? It has been asked to us the volt output voltage at terminal A. So actually, let's say terminal O here. So outside terminal should we. We should denote by O. So they have they are asking us what is V output. So it is very simple question, very very simple question. So let's just do it. So first tell me what is I B. It is zero minus V B by five ohm. Okay. Very simple concept. Zero minus V B divided by five. This is a current. Okay. Uh, no, it is not zero. It is twenty-five. Twenty-five minus V B divided by five. Okay. So it is twenty-five here. Twenty-five volt battery is have been applied here. Now, what is I R? I R is V B minus zero. By three. Okay, so now just let's equate them because I B and I R are equal. So let's say twenty five minus V B divided by five equals to V B by three. Okay, V B by three. So let's say this is seventy five minus V three V B equals to five V B. So V B is seventy five by eight. Volt. So if we know V B, we also know V A, because both are same. Very simple concept. If we know V A, our task is done. Our task is done. So let's just write some things here. That our V B is 75 by 8 volt. Now let's move forward and do the next calculation. Same kind of calculation for the upper loop. So, what is I A? 30 minus V A. 30 minus V A divided by 115. And what is I F? I F is V A minus V O divided by 20. So now just equate them. V A we already know. So we. But we will put its value later on. 
to make the question simpler and v a minus v o by 20 so now your task is spent spend 10 seconds and try to find what is v o v a is already known so you just need to do the algebra so very quickly do this let's see who gives the answer first So how many of you got this answer? Just put the value of VB equals to VA this 75 by 8 and you will get the answer minus 18.125 volt. How many of you got the answer? Say yes, no. Yo Yogi got the answer. Perfect. Do a very quick calculation. You can use the calculator. It is available in the exam. Jannat has been done. Has done the question. Okay. Okay. So very quick. Tell me. Do you understand the concept? Yes. No. How we solve the problem? Do you understood? Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the answer is minus 18.125 or option is also correct. It is A given. So we are correct. So if you know the question, second question, I think it is up to you how you solve it. So tell me what will be the answer to this question? It's a very, very simple co answer question. They are asking what is I? And four options are given. Without any pen paper, you can answer. Base zero. zero. How many of you? How many of you say zero? Let's be yeah. kept zero. Three people zero. Other people. Do you have some other answer? So everyone says zero. Okay. No internal current should flow. So yes, answer is zero. I is zero. Let's move on. Okay. The third question is related to that only. Now we need to tell what is V output. What is V output in the same question? Very simple. Do you do you think this? Yesterday we discussed four applications. Do you think it is related to some application? Added. What? Yes, this is adder circuit and even if you don't know you can do the same analysis. This is an adder circuit. So V output in adder circuit is minus one by RF or let's let's just do it because I never remember. So this is I one. This is I two. Here voltage and here voltage must be same. So it must also be zero. So this total is I which should all move up because no current should move and this is I F so I and I F are equal and if you will use this concept you can find V output just the same way we found the in yesterday in the adder case. I am not solving this question entirely. This is just a simple adder question. Because I knew, want to solve the next question, which is actually very, very important question and new concept here. So for an ideal op-amp as shown, okay, what should be the value of resistance RF? So this is an RF. If you can't see, this is RF. 
okay to obtain the gain of 5 so gain must be 5 so i already told you the open loop gains is infinity but closed loop gains decreases so we need gain to be 5 here so what is a actually v output by v input must be equals to 5 this condition is given to us and we need to find what will be the rf so this is actually a tricky question because here we will one use one more concept which is called voltage division law so let's do this if vi is a voltage here what is a voltage here at this point a one kilo volt no no i am sorry sir vi so i want to explain one concept here very simple concept here if you apply the voltage is like this okay now the total voltage will drop somewhere across it and somewhat across it it is called the voltage division kind circuit please look at this circuit very carefully this is called the voltage division circuit because when you reach a some of the voltage has been dropped ag across it and the voltage at a will be less than vi so what is that to do that very simple concept is whatever the current is here i the same current will flow down why because no current can enter the op amp so current is same so let's make it current same so let's call it i1 and call it i2 so i1 is equals to i2 sorry i1 is equals to i2 what is i1 vi minus va divided by 1 kilo ohm and what is i2 va minus 0 divided by 2 kilo ohm okay so this implies 2 vi minus 2 va equals to va or this implies 3 va equals to 2 vi or this implies va equals to 2 vi divided by 3 this is called the va now there is one more easy way to directly come to the answer without doing any such calculations so that answer is that way is add these both resistances so that is 3 and if you want to find the voltage across this branch we want to find va va is a voltage across this branch because voltage at here is zero voltage at here is va so the net voltage across this branch is va so we want to find the voltage across this branch so multiply the resistance of that branch so 2 by 3 in times vi so did you all understood how to do the voltage division yes sir so it means that let's say if uh, 12 volt is a vi vi is 12 volt let's say for example so 2/3 of it is across this branch which means 12 by 2/3 is 8 volt is here across this branch and 4 volt is here across the first branch so this is what is meant by this so let's just put it here 2 by 3 vi and subtract remove all this we got our result now our next step is to find v output or oh, no we our step is rf so that the gain is 5 so let's do this so we know what is va now so whatever is the voltage at a the same voltage is here without any hesitation the same voltage is here this here is v output the current is flowing in this direction this current will move here and this current will not go up because no current can go inside the op amp this current will straight away flow down if this is va definitely what is this if this here the voltage is va what is the voltage here VA. 
VA because both points are just connected by wire. Okay, so VA is here. So VA is here. So here is VA. So now let's name it this current as small i. Just for the simplification purpose, let's name this current i. Now we know IF is equals to i. So this IF is entering here. This comes here and then goes down. So IF is equals to I. What is IF? IF is V output minus VA divided by RF. Perfect. And what is I? I is VA minus zero by one kilo ohm or three. It is three kilo ohm. So three. So this is three k. Okay, three kilo. Ohm. Now we just simply use this. Simply use this. So now put V A equal to two by three V I. Or let's just uh, shamble it first. Okay. So three V O O minus three V A equals to V A into R F. Three V O minus three V A by V A R F, and we want to find R F. So three V O minus three V A. Divided by V A. Now one more thing which we know. Okay, so let's first put it. So what is V A? It is two by three, so we will get two V I. Two by three V I. Okay. Perfect. Now the next step we have is. Put V O in terms of V I, and we know this. What is V O by V I? It is five. So V O is five V I. Okay. So, or we can put just V. Okay. So let's do it first. So put V O equals to five V I. So fifteen V I minus two V I by two by three V I. Okay. So V I will come. Out and cancel it out. So, 13 by 2 by 3, which is 39 by 2. So, what will be the answer? 19.5 kilo ohm. How many of you understood this problem? Answer is B. Yes, answer is B. Should I repeat, or do you understood? Understood. Yes, sir. Everyone understood the problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So the questions were simple. So the thing which we learned here is, let's say this way. A. What do you mean by amplification? That is V out by V in. Second thing we learned about in this question is, never, never send any current inside the open. Only use this law. Third thing, how to do the voltage division. So we did all th these three things. So the last problem for today, okay. So last problem is this. And this problem, I want to make it interactive so that at every step you gets involved. So evaluate the following amplifier circuit, okay. To determine the value of R4, so we want to find this R4. In order to obtain a voltage gain, means V output by V input, you need minus 120. Okay, so you need again. This is similar kind of question. You need to find R4 so that your voltage gain is minus 120. So first, first thing I I want, I no one no else person will answer. I will ask some person and only that person will answer. Okay. So whoever will come to the my vision first. So what is the volt? What is the voltage at this point? So Ayushi Tiwari, what is the voltage at this point? Zero. Perfect. Very good. Okay. So if this is zero, this current is I and this current is I F. Both will be equal. Okay. Now understood this again very well. This question is little bit advanced to the voltage division. Means there is one more step to the voltage division here. So this 
वट इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस सर्किट दिस इज वी आउट एंड दिस इज जीरो ओके फाइव हंड्रेड के ओम आर फोर एंड दिस इज हंड्रेड ओहम सो अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड द वोल्टेज एट दिस पॉइंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वी आउटपुट so let's found, find this current i first so i i and i f e let's make them equal i and i f let's make this equal so i is v i minus 0 by 1 mega ohm so whenever you are dividing the resistances make sure you divide all the resistances in the same unit and whenever you your final answer comes for resistance put that units in front of that so i i am making sure that all the resistances are same uh units so let, let's assume that is kilo ohm so 1 mega ohm means 100 kilo ohm 1000 kilo ohm sorry this equals to if so what is if so let's mention this point as a mention this point as a so 0 minus va divided by 500 kilo ohm okay so this cuts and 2 So V I equals to minus two V A. So let's put it here. V I equals to min or minus two V A. Okay. So V A voltage we got in terms of V I. Very simple concept. Now we have some voltage here. We have some voltage here. Now what to do? Now what to do? can anyone give me can anyone th can think that what to do so very simple concept here but i want you to think before i tell you let's remove this our purpose is to find this r4 think in terms that i current is coming here it has reached till here now what will happen to i current divide in the two parts it will get divided some current will go here some current will go here means some current will come like this some current will come like this okay so here the question is not voltage division but the current division understood the concept it's not the voltage division it's actually current division how do you now divide the current that is my question okay but don't worry so what is i3 anyone tell me what is i3 in terms of va Va by hundred ohm. No, Va by point one. So because I I need to so make sure everything is in kilo ohm. Okay. Now what is I four? Any other person answers now? Va minus V naught by R four. Yes, V A minus V out by R four. Perfect. So, what is the total current which was coming? That was I or I F. It splits into I three plus I four. And what was the I F we found? We found I F by zero minus V A by five hundred kilo ohm. What is I three? I three is V A by R four. and what is sorry 0.1 plus va minus v out by r4 so do we know va yes we know va in terms of vi va is minus vi by 2 now so for first step let's put that so it will be vi by 100 1000 minus vi by 0.2 
here we can say minus v i by r four to r four minus v out by r four. Perfect. Now we also know v i and v output in terms of each other. What is that? V output by v input is minus twenty. V output is minus one twenty v i. Okay, so let's just put V output here. If you put V output here, what do you get? One twenty V input by R four. So now all the V I's get cancelled because you can take common from all three and then cut it with this. so now can you think you from this very simple equation you can actually find r4 it is just the mathematics now i can write this equation again 1 by 1000 minus 1 by 0.2 minus 1 by 2 r4 plus 120 by r4 so can you find r4 from this equation or not yes okay yes, so you you yes, can sir. see it is just a mathematics i don't need to teach you this so if you do that you will get answer 25 24 kilo ohm so we learnt one new concept also when there is no voltage division happening divide the current okay so here current also so you need to make a concept only only remember there is only one concept which you need to apply do not let the current enter the ohm wave that's it so always follow the current direction so current is actually entering here then happening here so see what is happening and just apply the rules that va minus 0 by r3 va minus v out by r so the same rules we have applied in all four questions just in the different forms okay so i think these four, four or five questions i was uh, i needed to discuss and we have discussed that now you can easily solve jam previous year gate previous year net previous year any kind of previous years you can easily solve so do solve those questions okay so i think that for me from my side today let me stop the recording and yeah so announcement in the last okay so tomorrow will be the last class for this free lecture series not last in terms of last only so tomorrow is 16 so tomorrow we will have one class and then from 17 to 22 there will be no class why because i am going to iisc for document verification and all other things and from 23 onwards we will again have classes like this okay the purpose of these five classes were to focus more on jam syllabus more on jam syllabus we focused little bit more on jam syllabus however it was the those topics which were which comes in all the exams but still the focus was little bit more towards jam from 23 the focus will be slightly more towards just for integrated phd and csr net for msc student so just and csr net but still not very advanced topics straight away will be taught to you but from a level beginning we will reach up to some very good level definitely those questions will come to just so the students who are in bsc they also need to study those students who are in msc they definitely have to cover those so from 23 onwards one two more classes will be on jam and then just level will be reached okay this is a announcement so this is for iisc purpose i am going there and document verification all that is a very long procedure and so on hostel getting hostel uh, getting to new place and from 23 again we will have the class at the same time on the same okay and so that's it i want to